children's story. It's time for children's story. Let's give God all the glory. It's time for children's story. We come to sit and listen and hear a Bible lesson. Let's give God all the glory. It's time for children's story. Come and listen. Come and listen. Come and listen. It's time for children's story. Come and listen. Come and listen. Come and listen. It's time for children's story. Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to learn about the story of Job. This story is found in the book of Job, chapter 1 to 42. Job lived in a country called Uz. He had a great number of cattle that numbered in thousands. He had three daughters and seven sons, and he even had more servants. Job was considered a rich man. Job was also a godly man. Job did things that pleased God. He regularly prayed to God and asked God to bless him and forgive him for his sins. He built an altar and made offerings to God. Satan knew that God loved Job and that Job loved God as well. God blessed Job with many friends, with wealth and with happiness. Satan did not like this. He complained to God one day about Job. Satan said that Job only serves him because he is rich and because he had so many blessings. And uh, Satan also said that if Job had a lot of trouble, he would turn away from God. Even though God knew that Satan was wrong, he allowed Satan to send Job a lot of trouble. And that is what just happened. Job's trouble began. As Job's children were having a feast, a messenger brought bad news to Job. The messenger told Job that people came and stole all his donkeys and oxen and killed all the servants. He was the only one that got away from this tragedy. Just then, another servant came to tell Job some more bad news. He told Job that uh, lightning had killed his sheep and more servants. He barely escaped too. Along came another servant tell, told, who told Job more bad news. Mm. He told Job that some other people stole his camels and killed the servants. Then another servant came and told Job that a great wind blew down the house that his children were in and they all died. As you can imagine, Job was very upset with all of this bad news. He tore his clothes and fell down on his face. Even though he was very upset, he never turned away from God like Satan thought he would. Since all of these bad things did not make Job turn away from God, Satan made life more miserable for Job. Satan thought that if he made life even harder for Job, that he would surely turn away from God. Back when Job lived, people believed that bad things were only happening because God was punishing them for their sins. Satan thought that Job believed in, his, in this too. So he caused ugly sores, or you can even call them boils, to break up on Job's body. Everyone was horrified, including his wife. His wife told him to curse God and die. But Job remained faithful to God. Job had three friends that came over to help him feel better. Even they, they thought that Job must have done something wrong too. They thought God was punishing Job. Then one day God spoke to Job. God told Job that he was upset with these three friends because they were wrong. Job had done nothing wrong. Job, Job was not being punished by God. God began to bless Job again. His sores went away. He grew richer than he was before. In fact, he soon had twice as much as he had before. God gave Job more children, servants, and animals. 
Even when times were bad, Job still trusted in God. Job was able to let his light shine by trusting in God all the times. Even when his life was miserable, he trusted in God. Boys and girls, let us always trust in God all the time, even when things are not good with us, just as Job did. May God continue to bless us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen.